Wells. Hey, Ronnie. Thank you, officer. Well, pretty girl. Ugly scene. She's been out here a while. Looks like she's still got her clothes, though. Some little sexual assault. No obvious gunshot or, or knife wounds. Still, we got blood here. You may have been beaten. Did she fall? Or do we think she was pushed? I'd say she was dumped. Someone thought the swamp would take her. Not dumped. See there? Looks like she moved some. That's some blood on her fingers there. You think she survived that? Maybe. For quite a while. No one would have heard anyone yelling down here. How would anyone know to help? <laughs> Someone knew. Let's go ahead and uh, process the scene. Ten four. Detective Borsho calls in St. Landry Parish Detective Ivory Chevis, who's been handling the missing person's case. Very sad. Indeed. Thanks for coming. Detective Borsho, I'm glad you asked. Been chasing down alibis all day long. Davina had talked to some pipeline guys at Kelly's. They all checked out. As a matter of fact, one of those guys was on a phone sex line from 10.40 to 2 o'clock a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so he was occupied. Well, Detective, I think we can say he was occupied, yes. Oh, Lord. Now, what about this Jason Thibodeau? Hmm. I think I see where you're going with this. But before doubling back to their main suspect, Jason Thibodeau, Detective Porcho checks in with the guys who found the body. Fellas, y'all okay? Yeah, yeah, I still can't believe it. Yeah, we're fine. Have you guys called John? You know, I, if he hadn't told us to look by Four Mile Bridge, Wait. we still... He told you to look down here. John told us to look a lot of places. Why? Like I was telling him, we got into an argument in the parking lot and I left. When I came back, she was gone. Seems nobody saw Davina inside Kelly's when she walked out with you. Yeah, which is why I think she got in the car with somebody else. Why? What? Why? Why? I mean, she knew over a dozen people in the bar. I mean, she, your cousin, his wife. She even knew the bar owner. Why would she get in the car with someone she didn't know? I, I know she was drunk. How'd you know she was under four mile, John? I didn't. You told your friends to look there, though, right? You don't get it! I didn't kill her. I couldn't stop her. She just jumped. Wait, and wait. I... From the beginning. Yeah, we had an argument in the parking lot. I thought she'd calm down while we were driving home. But she didn't. She got more wild. I didn't know what to do. I was sure she was dead. I mean, come on, John. You didn't try to call anybody or anything? I couldn't. I drove around trying to figure out what I was going to say, how I was going to tell her mom. Mm. <laughs> what? You don't believe me? You under arrest. Wait, why? Stay still or this might hurt. By admitting he was there when she died and not calling for help, John's already up the swamp without a paddle. But poor show finds more damning evidence in Davina's autopsy report. She fell onto her left side, but she's got a broken bone by her right eye, which means someone punched her good before she fell. Want to see what we got on the truck? Yeah, and tell me about the blood. According to this report, it's all over the passenger side, and we found a bloody handprint on the hood. Hers, his handprint, her blood. Mm. And we got more splatter on the windshield where it cracked. Yeah, take a look. Finally, it's the hard evidence Detective Porsche has been looking for. We got it. Now, he has...
has a pretty good idea of what happened to Davina Chapman.